Skateboarding is very hard, but you know what else is hard? Trying to figure out what trick to learn next. So I decided to make this video, which you already know what it's about. Five skateboarding tricks that you should learn after the ollie, because the ollie is pretty much the first one, besides, you know, the basics of just rolling around and stuff. So I put together five tricks for you to learn, so I could take out the hard part of figuring out what to do next, and you could just go for doing it. And these five tricks really help with your foundation in skateboarding, so when you go up to the next tricks, like, you know, the harder ones, like the flip tricks and stuff like that, it's not going to be as difficult as it would be if you just completely skipped a bunch of the basic, you know, necessities. And so let's just, you know, just get into it. Uh, the first one, 180s. Both front side and back side. I count those both as the same trick. Spit for like this sort of situation. You should definitely learn both of them at the same time because they're both basically the same. And it will just help you in the long run. Trick number two is the 50-50. So this is also assuming you have ollies down and you have a skate park you can go to or a curb you can go to or something. But basically, it's you do a combination of a 180 and an ollie just in the middle, you know, just sort of like turn a little bit. Not a full 180, more like 90 degrees, depending on your angle at going at the ledge. But you go at the ledge and you do just a little tiny bit of a front 180 you up and you land on it and you try to land your heels up against the ledge so that way you're locked in and you're you're leaning on your heels so you just stay locked in and you roll out of it and you just sort of ollie out and this is really good to learn because it'll help with your comfortableness on comfortableness you're so well comfortable you are on your skateboard because you know it's scary and you once you get it you're going to you're gonna feel more confident doing other things because you've conquered a scary thing. And it's really easy to do because you already have 180s and you should be able to do those already. Alright, so number three is shove it. Backside shove it and front side shove it. So these should be relatively easy because you have 180s. And 180s help with this because you're doing the kind of the same motion with your back foot, but you're not turning your shoulders with it. And you're lifting your front foot up a little bit so the board can do the 180. And as the hardest part about this is just committing and you know keeping your balance straight up so you can do it and not slip out when you land back on the board. So you do the same thing you do for a 180 both ways. Um, except you pop a little bit more down and out and so you like you know make the board do it so you have to be a little put a more little oomph in it or put a little bit more oomph in it so it'll go without you having to you know make it go the rest of the way with you know when you land on it because when you first learn front 180s you're going to pivot it a lot of the ways I still do it for front 180s um, so you want to put a little bit more oomph into the scoop and then you know just make sure you catch it with your front foot your back foot doesn't matter as long as it lands back on the board so you can leave it up as high as you know leave it in the air as long as you want you can land on one foot if you wanted to so that is the third one alright fourth trick are manuals just regular manuals so this is probably going to be the hardest one to learn solely because just balance and this is going to really help with your skateboarding career in the future because it is literally just balance you ollie into it you land with your foot in the pocket and your foot up front foot up where you want and then you just hold it and use your core to you know kind of balance yourself the whole way until you get off the ledge and it is it is very tough to learn but once you get it it is it helps you so much in the long run with your balance because it requires a heck of a ton heck a lot of a ton heck ton of a lot 
it, it is a lot of balance. Just the main thing to find to learn not a lot. The main thing to know about this is your back foot's kind of like in a little pocket area and your front foot's just kind of up there and your knees bent a little bit. But mostly it is you finding your sweet spot. So I can't really give you too many I can't really tell you what's comfortable for you for foot positioning on it because I'm not you. But once you get this and you get it good, you can start popping out of it. You can start doing tricks out of it. Um, I do. I like to do kickflips out. I like to do kickflips into it and out. I like to do both. Sometimes at the same time. I'm sure there's a that's what she said joke in there somewhere. Fifth trick, number five, is the board slides. And just like the 180s and the shovets, I consider both of these to be the same trick. I mean, they're not the same trick, but it's it's the same step. So they're both board slides. They're just different, you know, variations of it. So you basically you do half of a 180. So you already know 180s, and you land on it, and you land your weights evenly on both feet and you hold it and you lean back a tiny 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 bit and then it just slides the whole way and then you turn back to regular and you land it and you go away same thing with uh, front boards except it's the other direction and it's a little bit scarier since you're going backwards but just lean lean away from where you're going just a tiny bit and then pull it back and you should be good Um, I'm not giving I haven't been giving like a whole big explanation on how to do them because I'm not going in depth because there's videos out there already that go way way in depth I'm just this is just kind of like a game plan for you to decide what you want to do you don't have to do these in any specific order I just figured that you don't have to do these in any specific order this is just the order I'd recommend doing it because 180s first of all help with every single trick out there pretty much they help with 50s board slides, they help with uh, shove it's, they help with just being comfortable on your board. So you should definitely learn those first. And then shove it's will help with, you know, more advanced tricks once you go down the line. And, you know, 50s will help with all your rest of the ledge tricks. It's the first one you should learn. And, you know, board slides, those are just the first ones you learn on rails. And it helps you get comfortable on the rails and not be scared of them. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more of this specific type of video, like, you know, game plans and what you should learn next, uh, just like the video and I will probably do it. And, or comment down below and say, say you want more of these because I, I have a few ideas for more videos like this. But I don't want to waste my time doing them if you guys don't want to watch them. So just uh, tell me you want to watch them and I'll make them.